What's up guys? My name's Jacob and uh, this is my new channel. I just started it and uh, it's going to be mainly about gaming and uh, but I play the Pokemon TCG so that's what I'm going to start off talking about. So for my first video uh, I'm going to be talking about this this uh, one card as of right now. I'll, I'll do an in-depth set analysis uh, probably in the next couple of days but right now I'm just going to talk about one card. And it just, I just had this thought, and I figured I needed to make a video about about it quick before I forgot it. Um, so this is uh, a card from the Sun and Moon 2 expansion, uh, Guardian Rising, or uh, yeah, Guardians Rising, and uh, which is scheduled to release in May, I think, somewhere around the beginning of May. Um, and it's it's I've been looking through it and it's it seems to have some uh, pretty good cards in it, um, but one of a good card but a very interesting card, in my opinion, could be really good, uh, is this Garbodor. Now let's start off with the Trubbish. Uh, it's got 70 HP, which is pretty good for a basic, I guess, um, and it has a, a attack for one Psychic called Stomp Off. And it discards a card off the top of your opponent's deck. That does not seem like, you know, a really good effect for an attack. But, when we're talking about Garbodor's first attack, it could actually help out some. So, Garbodor's first attack, for one Psychic, same attack cost, which is very convenient, um, is called Trash Phalanche. This attack does 20 damage times the number of item cards in your opponent's discard pile. Now... This uh, seemed really interesting to me because right now in the format we're seeing a lot of Turbo Darkrai and Volcanion and uh, even uh, item lock decks like uh, the Sigewai Vile Plume. All those decks use a lot of items, mainly turn one and turn two. They use a lot of items. And this card, if you have four, if your opponent has four item cards in their discard pile, it does 80 damage. So. That's that's pretty good numbers right there. Just like turn one, like because you can't, you have to obviously wait a turn to evolve it. So you can't. It doesn't matter what they do turn one, because you're gonna have to wait no matter what. So pretty much this deck is meant to go off turn two. So turn two, you evolve into Garbodor, and if they've had a pretty good turn one, like you're you're set. <laughs> I mean. Uh, you're doing at least 80 damage at probably the least of any deck, unless they just have a terrible hand. Then you're already up because you know your opponent's got a terrible hand, so you can just start setting up your board however you want. Um, but yeah, and one thing that I thought was good about this card is not only is its attack and stuff, but the fact that this attack is on a stage 1 is really good right now for this format. Like I said earlier, Volcanion, it's weak to water, but we got the evolutions that change the typing of your stage 1. So you can play Vaporeon with this. Now you're hitting for weakness on Volcanion, and with five, if your opponent has five cards and five item cards in the discard pile, you're one hit KOing a Volcanion EX. And if they have a Fighting Fury Belt, all you need is one more card. You, your opponent needs six cards in their discard, six item cards in their discard pile for you to one hit KO. A fighting fury belted volcanium which is that's really good to me in my opinion that's amazing um i don't i mean uh mega Rayquaza, like it's starting to see a little bit more play and they use a lot of items too and jolteon evolution you can get a one hit ko on mega Rayquaza easy because they go through a lot they go through a lot of their deck turn one if they have a good turn one and, I mean, uh, the Siege White Plume, uh, you got the Flare Effect, Flareon, Hit Weakness on those. You're taking one hit KOs on the Siege which has the most HP in the format right now. And it's just, I think this card has a lot of potential. And another reason I, I say that is because recently there was a tournament, uh, I don't know. I don't really know. I, I can't remember where I saw this at, but there was a tournament in Japan recently 
And, you know, th their format is obviously a lot uh, different from ours because they get these cards about a month earlier than we do. So they've already got some of these cards. And some of the top decks was using this Garbodor with the Garbodor um, from Breakpoint to shut off abilities, to punish your opponent for uh, discarding their items, and they use Tapu Lele as a main attacker to punish decks like Mega Mewtwo uh, and um, Eveltal. I guess not really Speed Dart, but like Eveltal, stuff that loads up their energies on it, onto their Pokemon, and has a fairly good de uh, damage output. And late game, without the evolutions, you could be swinging for really good numbers with this card. Like, pretty much one-shotting anything, without e even without the evolutions, uh, in the late game. So this thing is a really great late game attacker in pretty much any deck that runs a Psychic Energy. Um, but it's also, it can also, I think it can also have its, you know, own place in the, in a deck in an upcoming meta. And I just, just to me that sounds really good. So, I don't know. I mean, it could change. I've not heard much.